Welcome to the SCP Foundation. I am 05-4 and today we are briefing you on SCP-044. Let's go ahead and begin. Out of number, SCP-044, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. A constant stream of hydrogen ions, unbound oxygen atoms, and other trace-free radicals emanate from the muzzle of SCP-044 at all times. Because of this, the docking stations of SCP-044 are to be well ventilated to keep dangerous gases and moisture from accumulating. Muzzle coverings are to be fitted at all times to keep birds and small animals from investigating the large open barrel of SCP-044. Addendum. Date redacted. As SCP-044 has not been involved in any significant incidents in the redacted years that has been held by the Foundation, SCP-044 has been reclassified as safe. Must I really redefine significant incidents? If containment procedures and standard safety protocols all are followed, 44 appears to be no more dangerous than any other big redacted gun. No, the bear incident does not count. 05 TAC redacted. Description. SCP-044 is a howitzer secretly manufactured in the late stages of the Second World War by Krupp engineers, personally supervised by Albert Speer, German Minister of Armaments and War Production under Adolf Hitler. SCP-044 is unique not only because of its size, 251,000 kilograms or 251 metric tons, but also because it fires unconventional artillery using an atypical delivery method. Rather than having a breach for loading shells, the rear of the barrel is configured into a massive air compression chamber. Any object or pile of objects that fits may be loaded into SCP-044's muzzle to be used as ammunition. Because of its size, SCP-044 must remain rail-mounted and requires two freight locomotives to move. Researchers believe that SCP-044 weakens molecular and atomic bonds in any material loaded into its muzzle. However, the method by which SCP-044 affects molecular bonds is not known, due primarily to the numerous complex mechanisms that compose the housing and workings of SCP-044. In fact, some mechanisms appear useless and seem to do nothing other than spin or make noise, even when SCP-044 is not supplied with power. Both equipment and personnel have been lost while exploring the inside of SCP-044's barrel. When SCP-044 is fired, all matter within its barrel is ejected at a high rate of speed as a glowing red slug, proportional in size to the amount of mass loaded into the muzzle. Upon striking a solid object or the ground, the slug explodes with a yield proportional to the mass of the original ammunition at no less than a redacted percent mass to energy conversion rate. The yield will also increase somewhat the longer the slug remains in the barrel. The greatest known yield was achieved when the administrator's 8,900 kilogram or 19,500 pound personal diesel pickup truck was loaded in its entirety into the muzzle of SCP-044 and fired in the pictured experiment. And let's go ahead and get that picture up for you. There it is. It's really beautiful. Ah, what a big bomb. And that concludes your briefing on SCP-044. This is a skip that is more about containment than anything else. We definitely do not want this falling into the wrong hands. And if possible, we'd like to figure out how it works, although nobody's holding their breath for that. Remember, we secure, contain, and protect. We die in the dark so that they can live in the light. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe, and ring the bell if you'd like to see more. If you didn't enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a comment as to why. Uh, please try to keep your comments uh, constructive if you can. And well, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your whatever.